So as you can tell right now, I am RGV lit, which must mean that we are at the Corsair suite. So let's head over there, take a look at some new mice. They have three new Corsair One chassis, and of course, new Dominator Platinum. BPS Customs coverage of CES 2019 in Las Vegas is made possible by Be Quiet and their new line of Pure Power 11 power supplies. Partial modularity lets you choose the loadout that best fits your rig, and with options ranging from 500 to 700 watts, Be Quiet has you covered for almost any kind of system. A silence optimized fan keeps things cool and quiet, and a five year warranty will give you peace of mind. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. The first thing we're going to take a look at today are three new mice from Corsair. We did touch on these when we did the press event video, but here they are in the flesh. The first one is the M65 RGB Elite, and it's going to use the same sensor as the next one up, the Iron Claw RGB. It's a brand new 18,000 DPI sensor. You can adjust the sensitivity in one DPI increment. So if you really need that 17,999 DPI experience, you can definitely make that one happen. It has adjustable weighting on the bottom. It comes in both white and black. The white is labeled as a special edition. However, it's not going to be limited, uh, limited run or anything like that. It should be available for quite a while. But it uses the same kind of design language that we saw on the original uh, M65 and what made this such an iconic mouse for so long. The same aluminum frame, the same side sniper button, but they have actually redesigned the buttons, made them easier to recognize by feel, uh, enlarged the, uh, the forward and back button on the side, changed the uh, size of the sniper button just a little bit, also enlarged the DPI button on top. Uh, and overall, the feel of it is really good. It's meant for claw grippers, basically, but it is definitely a solid mouse one way or another, and now you can get it in white and in black. The second mouse we're gonna talk about is the Iron Claw RGB. It uses that same 18,000 DPI sensor as the M65 RGB Elite, but the big difference, obviously, here is the size and shape. This is meant more for palm grippers, and I have a pretty big hand, and my hand fits on this pretty well. It's pretty comfortable. Uh, no adjustable weighting on the bottom, so this is gonna be 105 grams and take it or leave it, basically. Uh, but big side buttons here, easy to actuate. Uh, the scroll wheel feels nice. Uh, Omeron switches and, uh, yeah, Iron Claw RGB. The third mouse is the first product to market with Corsair's new Slipstream technology that we talked about in the initial Corsair Press event video. The Harpoon RGB is an existing mouse, so they're reusing basically the same size and shape, except clearly this one is not attached to anything, has no wires. So what Slipstream is, is basically a different way to communicate, uh, and you can add up to three devices on the same dongle that will be stored in the bottom of the mouse right here. So you only have to have one dongle on your PC, and it'll control your mouse, your keyboard, your headset. Uh, additional Slipstream devices will be coming to market by the end of the year, I'm told. I, I tried to get a little more clarification on that, tried to ask if we're gonna have all three product segments by then, and Corsair just kind of was like, eh, we can't really say. But for now, what we have is the first to market is the Harpoon RGB Wireless. It's gonna be $50 at launch, uh, and this is more of like a mainstream product, not too uh, fully featured. It's got, obviously, the forward and back buttons on the side. It's got a nice rubber texture grip. The mouse is very light. I actually used this for editing on this trip. Uh, but first Slipstream product to market, and we will see how this ecosystem evolves. So this is an exploded view of the new Corsair One that's gonna be coming in the i140, i160, and i180 configurations. The i140 is kind of the entry level, even though it's not gonna be necessarily an entry level system. It's gonna have an i7, uh, 9700K. The i160 is gonna be an i9, 9900K, and the i180 is gonna be a content creation monster with a 9920X. This is the i180. It actually has a 9920X, quad channel so dims, and you can see basically everything is passively cooled with the exception of a single fan that mounts at the very top and exhaust air, basically pulling that air through the radiators and cooling the CPU and the GPU, which are both equipped with AIO solutions that are custom made from Corsair. And this is the new Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB. It uses the new Capellex RGB LEDs that we talked about in the press event video. Below that heat spreader, there are only 12 LEDs per dim. Now, clearly that might not seem like that's impressive. However, the LEDs are about 1 25th the size of traditional LEDs, yet the lighting is still vibrant and bright. 
The Dominator Platinums are going to come in multiple varieties, different speeds, different configurations. You can buy a two dim kit, a four dim kit, or even probably an eight dim kit. Uh, but when they come to market, obviously they aren't going to be cheap, although I don't have exact pricing just yet. You should start to see these sometime around February. Two new cases from Corsair this year, both $79, both available now. The first one is the Spec Delta. You might recognize it from previous Spec kind of cases from Corsair. Still has that same angular front panel. Does appear to be a little closed off with the exception of this bottom cut out here, uh, but they actually have a full system built in one right next door. And you can see that it comes with three RGB fans up front. Now these aren't their LL fans or their ML fans. They're pretty standard RGB fans, but the fact that it comes with three RGB fans is pretty neat and definitely a, at least a little bit of a value add. The fan that comes in the rear is just gonna be a standard black model, but the interior layout is pretty nice. It has a grommet here for your PCIe, obviously the uh, power supply shroud, has some cutouts in the back there for your front panel audio wiring and whatnot. So fairly compact, kind of a budget case from Corsair, but decent ventilation up top with a removable dust filter. Uh, and like I said, $79 available now. Second case from Corsair is the 275Q. It's based on the 275R layout, except this is basically their anti-RGB case. It doesn't come with any RGBs at all. The fans that it comes with, which are one in the front and one in the rear, are both standard black fans. The top is actually a removable piece, and on the back of it, you can see that it has sound dampening foam. The side panel, no window, but also sound dampening foam. So this is a silence focused case from Corsair. They don't produce a lot of these, but they kind of wanted to do a no frills, anti RGB solution for the people who are sick of having rainbow vomit everywhere. Uh, again, available now, $79. The last thing that we got today is the new H100i RGB Platinum. It is an all white AIO, something that we don't see a lot of. All white tubing, white block top, white LL series fans, white radiator. It is gonna be a little bit more pricey than the regular H100i, but because it comes with the LL fans, which are of course a little bit more expensive, this is a 240 millimeter version and it's gonna be $169, but again, it is available now and you don't see many white AIOs, so if you're in the market for one, this might be a really cool solution because to be honest, in person, this looks fantastic. So that's it from the Corsair Suite CES 2019. Thank you so much to our sponsors for sending us here to Las Vegas. Check out their links down in the video description below. More videos coming at you real soon. Get subscribed to the channel if you are not already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to Electronics for providing our editing systems for CES 2019. Check them out below.